Israel finally has its own cloud computing for the first time. A top security facility just opened in Jerusalem promising domestic control over Israeli data. The protection of information and of data is the, is the great challenge of the 21st century. Uh, and, um, you know, Israel has you know, massive amounts of data it needs to protect. And to a large extent, you know, it's, uh, it invokes issues of trust. Texas-based cloud computing titan Oracle won the bid for the Israeli government project to build a multi-million dollar facility. And this is no normal data center either. It has to contend with the region's infamous instability and regular wars, which meant building a veritable fortress. We need to account for missiles and rockets and car bombs. We don't want those to happen, but that's the reality that we live in. Um, and when you build such a critical infrastructure, it was important for us to be nine stories underground and it's fully contained. 160 feet underground and surrounded by reinforced concrete, the security isn't just physical. It's about keeping government data safe from regulation and from potential sanction as well. Even things that we don't think that are sensitive are really very sensitive and we don't want out of the country. Things, imagine things like tax data or health care records that aren't by themselves uh, classified. But does Israel really want the health care records of its soldiers sitting in another country uh, and subject to those country laws? That concern isn't academic either. Protesters have opposed major companies like Google and Amazon building cloud infrastructure for Israel, with 400 employees trying unsuccessfully to stop the Nimbus military computing contract signed with the IDF. I understand that many fought against this, the BDS groups, even the workers in high-tech companies. I'm very happy that these forces were overcome. The benefits aren't just security, politics, and red tape, though. For Israeli businesses, it means speedier in-country communications and no need to spend money on their own server networks. Israel has a long reputation as a world power in cyber technology. Now it's time to have a cloud of its own.